Great rods in YouTube. Great rods in Facebook. Get your chair if you already have it. Because I'm running a little behind. <laughs> Start your treadmill. Get on the great rods. It's Saturday. We did the whole walk, y'all. Whew. Yeah, squeeze you good. Great rides and thanks for coming in. Well, the new venue I told y'all about, what had happened was when I was testing it out, it kept telling me it wasn't loading, but it was loading stuff, so I kept reloading it. So now I, I reached my limit on my loading for the week. But I didn't know it kept telling me it didn't go through. But every last one of them went through. They had to go back and erase everything, and they said, too bad. Just because you erased it don't mean nothing. Great rising. Joan. Joni. Joan. Diane. Mary. Smith. I don't think I said hi enough to Cassandra. I don't even think I've ever said good morning to Cassandra. I think that's why she... She dealt me. Ha <laughs> But it could be a number of reasons, child. You just don't know what's going on in people's lives. Let me slow this down. Oh. Now you know we don't walk tomorrow. So. Don't worry about walking tomorrow. And. Don't forget. Why go fund me. Please help me open this safe. I know it's just such a little thing, but I gave for little things. I did, and I do give. I mean, I can't come up with enough money to open a safe, but I do come up with enough money to donate, and I always have. I just never asked for it, you know, like a personal wise. No. Nope. Though my grandmother, she used to always say, she said, ask for, ask your friend for some money before you need it. Hey, thanks for coming on the wall. Good morning. Someone popped it on Facebook. Hey. She said, don't wait till you need it to ask to find out you ain't going to get it. She said, ask before. Then in a time of emergency, you know who not to go to. So, that's very true. Um, I've been able to get bread from people. I've been able to get food from people, what I drink, alcohol from people, you can party with people, but in the bar, asking for money department, that has not been a niche for me. Now, on the other hand, yeah, you need it, I gotta come get it. And I know I can afford to lose it. I'm not really giving it to you to get back. Because you set yourself up. I'm giving it to you because even if I don't get it back, I'm cool. Um, so, this is uncomfortable for me. But if I got to put that safe in focus and get, get her done. As the redneck comedians used to say, get her done. So I can get her off my head, out of my mind. All I see me doing is taking my important papers and throwing it down there, wrapping it up, bundle it real nice like you see on the TV commercial. When they open the safe, not TV and TV shows, when people be breaking in the safes. And or, there's a prize at the end of the rainbow. But... There's certain things I do 
that alienate people that I don't like to do. And one is asking people to exercise with you. Over my years, boy, did I slam doors. I just innocently, hey, you want to go to the gym with me? <laughs> then I was like, did you see so-and-so I was talking to? <laughs> I don't see it anymore. She makes it her business. We have five minutes. That's how fast this walk is. She makes it her business to avoid me. So, that's one of them. And asking people for money. That's the next thing. So, I understand. My daughter says, Mommy, you're not losing people because you asking them for money to open the safe. In her mind, she's saying that half the stuff I post about the GoFundMe fund never even reaches the people that it needs to reach. She's like, maybe Facebook lets me see like, like three or four people see that post. And I said, well... I can't think of any other reason. <laughs> they were there before. I did the thing and now they, I clearly see when I'm tagging everybody. I see all my friends' names and I know when some pop up missing. I have some who passed away that I remember quite fondly when I passed their pictures. I know I should give it up, but I'm not ready yet. So, I know when they're dropping off. And I knew it would do it. Asking for money on a wish. You know? So. It is what it is. So could you please go to my GoFundMe. Under please help me open this safe. And donate to the cause. Thank you very much. Trust me, I ain't asking again. Once this safe is opened up. It could mean so much. I was like, why would why would we? Like, I was raised in an apartment all my life. As a child, my mother took us apartment hunt, hunting and Queens somewhere along. I know it was some place where it was nothing but white people. <coughs> and I remember the real estate lady pulling up, um, taking us to see in the houses and see it. I remember us running. Same with rumors going the hours. And my oldest sister, who has no memory of her childhood, including me, but I have memory of my childhood. I remember her being upset at my mother going to see houses that she clearly knew she was not going to get a number one because of the neighborhood. They wasn't letting us live over there. B, she had no money. Ain't nobody going, ain't nobody ain't going to get for no loan. She just left Virginia to come up here and she worked as a housekeeper. But I think my mother just needed that to, to hold on to, like a knot on the end of the rope. She was like, we, I'm slipping, I'm slipping. I got to go get some hope. So we went to see all these houses. We never got anything. We we're apartment dwellers. And... So, for my daughter to get this house, her own hard work and determination, and to find a safe in it, I think it's some kind of sign or something. It's no coinkadinky, unlike the detectives. I don't believe in coincidences. And we've been struggling, 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 struggling every day looking at that safe. Struggling, struggling, struggling. Not every day. Whenever we come downstairs a bit. Well, I'm in the basement every day. I'm the one that goes in the closet. Yeah, I do see it. That could be another reason why I want it open. Because since I've started walking in the basement, I've been going in that closet because I put stuff away and I lock up after I do my walk. 
and it's bugging me. It's getting to me. And the GoFundMe to manifestations. The, the GoFundMe is helping me to manifest. I see myself. I no, I see the safe being open. I see me recording it. Um I like to say I I see a lot of paperwork and stuff in there from days gone by. But how I feel in here, the excitement that I feel from opening is the fact that it's open and everything that comes afterwards. Everything that comes afterwards is exciting to me. First we open it and the excitement begins. Win, lose, or draw. So that's what we're doing. Go fund me. Please help me open this seat. Thank you. <laughs> Do you see how fast this walk is over? We got Miss Vicky coming back after the break. She's going to talk to us about the book I like to say yes that I wrote. Uh, to put out there after I worked at the daycare center and saw how y'all were sending y'all kids to the daycare center acting like they can fight grown people and they can't even pee in the toilet. I was like, how you going to send your kid out here like this? I don't have to do it. My mama told me no. I never had one they came through there that said, basically, because they repeat what you say. My mother tell me that you're here to protect me and to keep me safe until she comes back to get me. Never. Well, you tell Miss So-and-So. Well, you tell Miss and the mother's coming there. And I, and they complain, and I said to myself, really? You gonna come here and shake this place up and leave and leave your little innocent kid there? That's like cussing out your waiter. <laughs> you know they gonna spit in your food. <laughs> you know they gonna spit in your food. It's like telling the chef he shit. You know he gonna drop your food on the floor, step on it. Stop going to these daycare centers. Attacking these teachers and these directors and then taking your ass out that door and leaving your baby behind. You need to stop. Come in with some flowers. Come in with some donuts and leave it on the table for the teachers. So when you leave the thing that you love behind for eight, nine hours for them to care for, you have some measure of comfort that your child is being looked upon in a positive light by adults. So, Miss Vicky gonna come in and talk to us. And this walk is halfway over. Go fund me. Please help me open this safe. Because that's what I'm asking for. And then, also, I was like, oh, man, I got a lot of my play. So, we got that to open. Then, in two more months, all of us will have completed a year of waking up every day and doing some kind of movement. And even if you just do half-hour movement in the evening, and throw me on the evening because I'm on YouTube under Inspiration Sensation 2016 and here on Facebook under me and Vimo next week and little glimpses on TikTok so there's that. 
you know? And, uh, Can't think of anything else. Of course, this little half hour goes by so fast. Look at that. Fifteen minutes in. Fifteen minutes in already. Ooh, let me see who said hello. Great risings. Hey, my Joni. I love you, girl. I love you. I hope you be getting as healthy as you're encouraging me to be. I hope so, Joan. I hope you're loving yourself as much as I'm loving your support. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get Miss Vicky. Let's get Miss Vicky. Let's get YouTube first. First things first. No, this is not the one. I had everything already. But you know how that is. Boy, as soon as you go into YouTube, you start that video, it starts right away. Let me get some volume on this. Let's start this. Okay, let's finish up this walk. I'm gonna put Miss Vicky on. Vocabulary with I like to say. 
That's Miss Vicky. <laughs> it does feel good when they say yes and don't give you that resistance for stuff. I mean, and you just put in their vocabulary, like with everything. Can I eat? Yes. Like, thank you. Yes. All that stuff. It all goes together. So, you know. And you can buy, I like to say, yes, here's the book. I like to say yes. You can buy it from Barnes and Nobles, from Archway, and from Amazon. Keep the yes in your child's vocabulary by reading I like to say yes to your child. Yes. Do you like ice cream? What's the yes? Yes. Clean up your room? Yes. Sit down to eat? Yes. Want to go for a ride? Yes. They always say yes to that. I've not met a child that said no to going for a ride. <laughs> they love that. Well, if you walk with me this week, you have extra... When I say walk, that can, that can mean doing your weights, kicking your feet, stretching out on your yoga mat, walking wall to wall. It encompasses all of that. When I say walk with me, it's our 30 minutes of movement. So, uh, let's do some finger things. Yeah, it feels good when they say yes. You know? And as they get older and you ask them questions and that honesty is there with that yes, it, it's beautiful. Um, I just don't know how parents can, you know, I don't understand how you can sit, send your child out in this world not prepared. But I know, I, oh, you know, if they do anything to my child, I can sue them, but I have yet to see a judge revive a dead person. Now, I've seen them put judgment on people who are living. I've seen them uh, put people in contempt of court, the living. I can tell you, I have not seen a judge revive a dead person yet. Dead baby, dead man, dead woman. So, it just don't rely on the, the justice system to give your child security. That takes strategy between you and your child. Like, me and my daughter have emergency words. She, I remember when we got it. We were looking at television, and she came on and said, do you have a commercial something? It's important that they, I was living in New York, they must have been snatching up kids like everyday people. And they were saying that it's important that you have an emergency word between you and your child. Something that only you and your child know, a word that only you and your child know. And you teach them, you know, how to use it. Um, the emergency word would be like, say if you could get your phone somewhere, somebody snatched you and, and their aid, the kid is able to get the phone. And when they get you, all they say is that, we're saying it's the Empire State, State Building, but you don't make anything so obvious. You use a, a, a little simple word that would bring up, no, would draw no one's attention. Say, okay, like I have an aunt. Her name is Pookie. We all laughed at it. Because my mother told us that our vaginas were called Pookies. She called them Pookies. Did you clean your Pookie? So, so Pookie. So, when we met our aunt, whose name is also Jake, as a pet name, again, the family calls her Pookie. 
So every time as kids, me and my sister, now they have no memory of this because they were so traumatized. They have no memory of the childhood uh, that included me. I, when I came from college, I was so happy to see them. We hadn't been together for five years. And I said, do you remember so-and-so? And they both said to me at different times, I have no memory of my childhood. <laughs> so, <laughs> but we, you have to use a code name like my aunt Pookie because the sudden last so my daughter would come to the phone and say she would get me in this emergency. Then I sent her over to stay at someone's house and they going good. Maybe they fighting, drinking or something like that and she's scared she want me to come get her. Uh, she would uh, get on the phone and when I said hello, she would say, Pookie. And I would say, of course I know she are. You still at on so-and-so's house? And she said, yes. And I go get her. And no one would be the wiser. They would open the door. And I said, wow, what are you doing here? I thought she was going to spend the night or something like that. And of course, I'd get there and the music is playing and the blues. And we don't, we just comfortable the other way. We're quiet. Read at night, I like to read. I teach you how to hook rugs, we crochet. You see, we do it all cooked anyway. They never knew that Leslie had found a way to get a hold of me. And that's how it is. So you use a name that is not so obvious as an emergency number with a kid. All right, let's knock this. 15 out, tuck in your elbow, squeeze your gut, 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and one for good luck. Let's go on this side. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and one's a good luck. Yeah, y'all, yeah. Hey, I see some more come on the walk. I'll catch y'all when I finish because try to keep the 30 minute walk 30 minutes. People start complaining. When I used to get people to go to the gym with me, and I said, okay, we'll work out for 45 minutes. Oh my God. If in 45 minutes, I wasn't back to them getting ready to leave the gym, honey, I could never get those people never get those people to come back with me to the gym. So, at a quarter to, honey, I had my coat on and at the door. Even if I was driving, I picked you up. I wanted your company. I wanted you to be there with me. So I know how people are about working out. But it's time for them to go, honey. They want to G up. So, and if they can't yield, honey, they will not be going back to the gym with you. So. I'm walking. Yes, I'm walking. Oh, yeah. Just for me, I'm walking. Thank you for the company. Well, that's it. We had a good week, right? One more week, and the so month will be over. To be and we did 10 months. Hey, I feel wonderful. I hope you feel wonderful too. Thanks for your support. We've got 23 more hours to the day. Whew, I'm so glad this is fast. 
This half hour goes by so quickly. Fast, fast, fast. I mean, how can you not give yourself this half hour wake up? Blood movement, oxygen to the brain. He said, boy, oxygen to the brain, he walking so slow. But honey, I'm doing a lot in this slow walking. Ooh, child. <laughs> hey, y'all, hey. Hey, y'all, hey. That's it. <laughs> Whew. Thanks for walking with me during the week. Please comment, like, subscribe, and share. There's senior citizens out there that can see me doing movement, want to do movement too. Okay, YouTube, thanks for your support. See you next week. We don't walk on Sundays.